Now, the family of a Bridgeport man fatally struck in Norwalk Friday, speaking publicly today about their loss. News 12 Connecticut's Frank Reckia has the story. For me, this hurts. This hurts so bad because that's my only baby brother. For 31-year-old Leola Crawford and her 13-year-old son, Sincere, what happened here on I-95 North in Norwalk on Friday has forever altered the landscape of their lives. So just imagine a SUV hitting a scrawny person and... Police say Leola's brother, 29-year-old Leron Crawford Oliver, seen here in family photos growing from a child into a man, was killed, police say, when he was hit by a car near exit 14 just before 1030 at night. His lifeless body was then struck, authorities say, multiple times by one vehicle after another. It's not a good feeling to, um, to know that your brother was killed in that manner and then to wonder why was he even there to, to begin with, you know. This is the center in the left lane. The I'm victim's sister telling us left. she has no idea how her brother, a beloved member of the Bridgeport community, like he has so much love, came to oh, be he, walking he, in the he, middle of the highway 90 minutes before midnight. A guy who was admired by his nephew, adored by his sister. And that was my son before I even had kids. <laughs> it's too much. State police are investigating the death. I have this thing of wanting to save people. Crawford telling us she'll be applying her God-given gift for getting at the truth to solving the mystery of how her brother ended up losing his life in such a horrific way. And I just want justice if there's any justice needed, and I just want answers. In Bridgeport, Frank Recchia, News 12, Connecticut.